Hey, good day. Hope you guys are good. Jing from Dorby Works Customs. Back here are all the custom wheels we offer, but today's focus is going to be on our GY6 harness for the Honda Ruckus. You can also use them on different frames. The harness is a complete system that's plug and play, and I have it all laid out right here for you guys to see. We test each harness after we make them in-house for all our customers custom needs. This complete wiring system will include a digital speedometer. It will have all the electronic items you need for function, for charging system, for your horn, your controls, your fuel system. We offer add-ons like the tail light, the turn signals, and even LED headlight bulbs. Easier to see back here is another display board that we have here in our purple wire harness system. Let's uh, turn the system on. This plug right here is your OEM ignition plug. You don't have to do any soldering or pinning. I just have a clip just to jump it without plugging it into the ignition. But on your bike, you can just uh, plug it into your OEM ignition, replace all your wiring. Here's the battery you're hooked up. Our wiring system is run through a 30 amp relay to protect your entire system from any shortage, any issues. That way nothing catches on fire or smokes up. We have three sources of ground to the frame and also throughout the wiring system to give you good, good continuity. And also it's fused with two fuses for your main wire harness and also an addition where you can use right here for you guys who want to do custom lights with your bike turned off, this button right here will help give you the signal to run low voltage, like LED kits or things like that. If you need higher amperage, talk to us, we'll help you out, set you up with a sec separate relay system. So as you can see here, our wiring system comes with this standard, COSO XR will tell you your voltage, which is very important. You want to be charging between 13 to 14 volts, never above, never below. It's got your fuel right here. We offer the Honda fuel sensor. This will replace your uh, Honda Ruckus one. This is a Metropolitan unit. It will plug right in to the OEM plug. It's, everything is labeled. That way you can easily install it also, in addition, we have a tachometer add-on if you guys want to run an extra tachometer. We have another DL speedometer, too, that you can get that has the built-in tachometer. It's a different style. It's on the site. But just want to show you guys the functionality of this wire system. Here's the left-hand control. Show you your turn signals. This is our beast tail light we came up with. Bolts right onto the bottom of your OEM seat. Right here are the upgraded slim mount turn signals for the front of the bike also you can see it's all integrated into the speedometer so you can see while you're riding you don't leave your turn signals on that can be confusing for other riders and drivers or just annoying as you can see so i'm showing you this we also offer the hella upgraded horn that is part of the wiring kit brake sensor has a flashing to let drivers know that you are slowing down along with the wiring system we give you pretty much everything fully TXL grade wiring it's oil resistant temperature resistant so your wires do not get degraded over time this is the same thing as like um, Honda OEM colors and automotive grade wiring upgraded regulator we do offer an upgraded 11 pole stator if you don't have that in your engine already that's an option on the website we'll give you a full ignition coil uh, okay old spark plug this is the back of the harness right here we'll plug right into your engine this is for your 11 pole stator and your pickup signal we also give you this extra power and ground for a low voltage under the seat light or a fan light something that's an addition wired up into the back of the bike so you don't have to 
splice or pin or anything like that. And along with the kit, we'll give you a installation panel where you can secure the regulator, the CDI, and all the wiring neatly. I'll follow up with this on another video. But here, just show you guys this uh, wire system on our board. This one today, we're sending out to Andrew. Andrew, thank you for your order. Right here. Pop this guy on real quick. So as you can see, we test everything and we make it in-house. Just want to stress that. We got our team, got Liz Rusk, Riz Rux, Risker Rux. Where's our control right here? As you can see, this is the separate wire harness. Testing out the functionalities here. And same thing, we test all the functions, make sure everything is 100% before we send it out. Everything is heat shrunk and loomed. No sticky icky tape, so you don't have to worry about it melting in your box and giving you issues. Got your start button right here. That's the starter relay working. This is your start button, so you can eliminate your right controller for a more clean look. See, That's sending a signal to the starter relay to send power to your starter. And here is LED button, and it outputs right here. So you can add on an LED kit or anything else you want that's low voltage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us at dorbyworks.com or dorbyworks at hotmail.com on email.